Well, today we are sharing our Fixer Upper Guest Cottage reveal. Welcome to our Fixer Upper Cottage reveal. I am so excited to finally be sharing this reveal with you. It has been a very, very long time in coming, years in the making, and it's just something I've anticipated for such a long time, creating this 1915, 450 square foot tiny home workshop. It was a woodworking shop into now going to be an overnight rental or Airbnb. So this has been a work of ours, my husband Blaze and I, for two and a half years or so. We started doing the renovations ourselves with my husband doing the demolition, getting things all stripped from what they were as the old woodworking shop into this little cottage. So it was something we really thought would be a good idea to try to do on our own and just life um, happened and my husband's business was growing and so he was working there we had more kids and so we just decided to hire some contractors and finally get it done and so this space is going to be available this next week or this week actually it may be up live already when you're watching this and it will be available for an overnight rental in our little town of where we live so I'm just gonna share with you kind of what the space is. I've done little episodes on my channel here that I can put in the description box for you if you're interested in watching what it looked like from the beginning to what we are currently at now. So as you enter the door, you will see where I am sitting, the living space and dining space. It is a little, like every section has its little quarter of the cottage. So our little table and chairs, the table was an antique twined. Most of my pieces are marketplace finds, thrifted finds. Some new, like all the appliances and such are new, which I'll get to, but everything else is just fun little quaint pieces I've collected over the years or so. And there's plenty more that I will need to add in as I go along and um, renting this space. I have no wall decor up yet as I'm still looking for the right pieces. I want to make a plate collage over the stove I believe and I think we're still going to get an armoire or wardrobe to go behind the couch here or in the bathroom for people to hang their clothes. So little details like that still need to be acquired but the space is done it's complete so my heart is so happy to have this space available our little fixer upper cottage park view cottage is what we are calling it as, as it is across the street from a park and it's on park avenue so park view cottage is what we are calling this quaint little space and the living area furniture again like i said the chair was an antique find just threw in some color with this beautiful rug that I fell in love with off of Facebook Marketplace for $100. This couch is actually a hide up bed and so we found that, I found that a long time ago on Marketplace and we had it stored at my husband's warehouse for over two years. But I just love the dark gray kind of heathered look that it has and just still working on some throw pillows but a pop of um, like gold mustard color to pull in the color from the rug. And then as you work your way back, we end up in the bedroom area. And I just got a jute rug off of Home Depot to go underneath the bed because I think jute goes with so much style. It goes cottagey, it could be farmhousey, it could be modern. So I just really wanted something versatile to go in that space. Now the bed and bed frame were just ordered from Amazon. There were many, many reviews on that. So we just purchased it off of there that way it could be shipped to us and we could put it up. And bedding's from Amazon and the comforter. I wanted something semi-neutral but not white because it's gonna get dirty. I wanted a little more texture and more character. So I went with this 
striped kind of linen looking comforter. And then the nightstands, of course, are a Facebook marketplace find, which I was so excited to find as they just remind me of kind of a vintage cottage core style. <laughs> Over in the bedroom area, it's gonna be very simple. I've talked about the shiplap wall before and the light sconces. My husband DIY'd the shiplap wall and the light sconces. We just got off a of Home Depot. Now, we wanted to do more texture things in this house, like putting um, beadboard on the ceiling, but it was such, there were so many um, ripples in the ceiling that the contractor said you'd be able to see every little curve that is in the ceiling because of how old it is. So. Um, and for ease of getting it done quicker, we decided not to. I mean, things like that can always be added later. I also wanted to do board and batten or beadboard in the bathroom. Time crunch thing, we wanted to get this done. So we just opted out of those extra details, which I love, I'm really liking, um, but we didn't get to. So now I'm going to walk you into the kitchen, which is actually really, right when you open the door, you could look straight into our kitchen because of those beautiful open shelves. I love this space. It's just, it's so inviting yet very open feeling and it feels large to me for such a small space. We went with some countertops and some manufactured countertops and cabinets and appliances. So everything was new in that department. And I just think it's important to have things look nice and good as well. My husband did install all the countertops after the contractors installed the cabinets. And so I think there's an ample amount of space in these cupboards and cabinets, even with nothing up top. It just, to me, feels spacious. And we just went with a single basin sink. And of course, I love my open shelving. I did a whole video on how, to, how I styled that. And one thing I do want to point out is the ceilings are really low in here. They're like six and a half feet tall. So the cabinet or the open shelves may look like they're up really high, but they're not because cause the ceilings are so, so low. And so reaching things on the top shelf won't be super difficult. We'll have a little step stool if need be, but it's just something, a space that I love. Having a Keurig, you know, a little coffee maker, some snacks, but I love this kitchen space. It's just so open and makes it feel um, inviting and like you have a place to work. That is the kitchen. And then to the bathroom, this space is so big in my opinion. Again, every, every section is kind of broken up to in little quarters. So the bathroom we designed to make it feel spacious. We've DIY'd the vanity. I had a video on that several years ago. I did switch out the knobs from the crystal diamond looking knobs, because I didn't have enough of those, to these white kind of vintage knobs. That's really the goal of what I wanted, kind of cottage vintage vibe. And then the mirror is just a thrifted mirror and the sconces are the same as over the bed. And just really make everything kind of Cozy yet simple. Simple in this space is like what I apply to my own home, especially in an Airbnb. You don't want a lot of clutter, a lot of stuff in there. And then just having a nice large shower, having a little place where the towels are and the washcloths. And now with the stacked washer and dryer, we were gonna do a side-by-side -side washer and dryer, but we decided to change the stack. That way we would have a place to put a larger cabinet or storage um, space since we have no closets in this area for our towels and the extra linens or if people need to set something on a counter other than just the bathroom vanity and so the little white stand we have we got from Amazon it's way smaller than I anticipated so I'm hoping to find something else uh, either out rummaging this summer or on Facebook Marketplace or something. So also artwork, like I said, in the bathroom would be something I'd like to add to. But it's just a nice space that I think people will really enjoy. We've had friends already stay and they said they would definitely come back. It's a very relaxing, inviting space and they would, if they could come without their kids, it would be a wonderful retreat. Of course, we have space for kids too in here, but they really enjoyed it in this space. Now to the blinds and the curtains. So I just ordered the blinds off of blinds.com and I wanted light filtering because I thought it would block out 
a lot more light than it actually does when you close it all the way. So if you want some blackout curtains, I highly recommend blackout bamboo curt or blinds instead. Um, these ones literally just light filter. You can see through them. It's the ambiance and the vibe I was going for with the cottage, but it didn't do the trick. So we went with curtains and curtain rods as well, which of course adds just another depth and dimension to this space. And those were just off of Amazon as well. They are blackout curtains, which I think people will appreciate so that they feel like they have a place to rest well without having a bunch of light streaming in. But the blinds, like I said, I really liked them. We had to special order them to the correct size. And so um, if you're interested in those, I can put the link in the description box. I'll try to remember everything we ordered and where we got them if it was a new product for this space as well. So my goodness, I think I've talked about pretty much everything. There's still some details to do. We ordered a TV and we'll be getting that and putting it under our um, mini split heating air conditioning unit, which is right by the table. Um, the outdoor space is not quite done. The front will be doing some shutters and some window boxes. We haven't gotten to that yet, which will add so much more character and more curb appeal, of course. We just really wanted the inside done so that it could be a place for people to stay because there is nowhere in the surrounding 25 to 30 miles of a hotel or really an Airbnb in this area of where we live, which is rather crazy. So I think we'll be rather busy and I am looking forward to what this opportunity of growth in this learning how to operate an Airbnb, learning how to be a hostess in another space will be. Um, like I said, it's been such a joy to have it know that it's coming to fruition. Like this, this project has finally arrived. And so it's just a space I love. So it's just such a place to come and enjoy as well. So I hope you enjoyed seeing our final reveal. Um, as you can tell, I am still really excited about this and maybe one day we'll get to have some of you guys come and visit and stay as well. So anyways, this is our Parkview Cottage.